Today is Monster Day. <laughs> That's right. Right there, yeah, bro. Yeah, new bike day, baby. Woohoo! <laughs> <laughs>what's up everybody welcome back to the channel and thanks for stopping by hey today we're in my garage not bernie's garage but oh. my garage yep we are putting together a brand new monza bmx 26 inch in white so we want to send a huge thank you to uh, thomas and the gang over at monza bmx for sending us a new bike to play with thanks man <laughs> yes so what we're going to do today is we're gonna crack this sucker open, put it together, and just show you kind of like a detailed version of what this bike looks like, what it comes with, all the different parts. And um, you know, this might be something that you might want to get on your own. So you guys should just just order them already. <laughs> just go online, buy them. Yeah, this is a really nice bike, so stay tuned. So this thing comes to you from a warehouse in North Carolina. Um, everything's shipped and padded really well. We're gonna show you, I mean, take a look at how good this stuff is packed. I mean, look, they have um, little, almost like, you know, those pool noodles yeah. type thing that's yeah. on all like, I don't know that the silver one, that the, that, that the chrome one was packed this well. No, yeah? no, this thing get more padding than the silver one. I mean, it definitely looks like there's, they've beefed up the padding. So Bro, this thing is nice. Grab that box and then what we'll do. Oh, dude, we got to put this on, man. We have <laughs> to. It came to us like this. We got to put them on. I don't know about that. That is probably one thing that I'm cool with, you know. Wow, pads. Not putting on. I like that. We got a seat post, bent seat post. Oh, yeah. Yeah, serious zip ties, hey. Yup, serious, bro. Who else is on? Okay, you can take it. All right, we got that off. Okay, we good. I'm just gonna lean this up against the wall here. Yeah. I mean, this thing is really, really packed well. Yeah. I mean, I gotta say, like, they have taken some steps to improve this because I remember in the Chrome one, the sticker got all kind of jacked up. Oh, white handle bars. Wow. So, yeah, look at that. That sticker is in perfect condition. Mean, bro. but it's this Christmas present. Did, uh, did it get a scratch over here? Oh, no, that's just a little bit of grease or something. See, Cello, they, they did all this. Yeah. So that it doesn't, re you know, you don't get it damaged. Nice. I mean, Let's wow. Let's get this on the stand then. Yeah, get them on the stand. Man, how's your stand? Brand new still. <laughs> What's up with that? Wow. Wow, lao, lao. Oh, wow. Oof. Look at that. Bra. Okay. You, you even get front brakes, I. Like. Okay, so first impression so far? Cherry. Pretty nice, huh? Yeah. Ah, uh, again, like I, the, just how nicely they put just the padding on everything. You should just leave them like that. Right like this way. <laughs> you know what I see, you know, like, you know, you can get them dirty and. It, so is this the way that, this is how we're gonna keep it clean? Yeah, this is how we're gonna protect them. <laughs> Wrapped up. Wow. This is, this is, yeah. Good job, guys. I mean, yeah, just, just the fact that every single tube is covered in foam. I mean. I don't know, you get the knife. I don't know, there's not a lot of guys that do that. No. I kind of feel like if you're, if you're a reseller, you're gonna do that, yeah. right? Because you're gonna just kind of make it, you don't want anything to happen to it, right? Right. But for a, for this to come from a factory like that? It's crazy. That's impressive, man. That Sorry, is... I gotta clean up after you, Kev. <laughs> <laughs> wow. 
That is very impressive. To the max. Wow. Look at that. Beautiful. I like oh, it. Oh, they got a white brake pads too. Yeah. Nice. This thing in person is unreal. Nice. It's really nice. Yeah, that looks pretty good, man. Right out the gate, you can just throw a number plate on this bike and go racing. <laughs> You're good to go. I mean, you even get front brakes. Yeah. These are Diacomp brakes. Yeah. The frames. And a lot of the components, they're made from Tange, or I don't know if it's Tongi, Tange, I don't know what Tange. the... Tange. Tange, I'm not sure what the, what the pronunciation of, of that is. Um, this might have I know a protective some, some people are like, say Tongi, and no, there's a, there's a sticker actually on this that, that is over that. But yeah... Um, the backstory on the guys on Monza, it was a guy, Thomas and his friend, they were having some beers. They're kind of talking about like, you know, the good old glory days of when they were kids and um, how much they enjoyed, you know, riding bikes and decided, what if we made our own bike? <laughs> yep. And these guys made their own bike company. And lo and behold, look at them. Like it's crazy. That's like if me and you made our own bike company. I know. That's nuts. Yeah, it is. Like, how insane is that? I mean, brah. If we could do that, what would we call it? If we made our own bike company? I don't know. <laughs> well, what do you think would be a good name? You got me, cause I never, I don't know. Maybe I gotta drink some beers. Dang it, this one is a little tight. Oh, there we go. Oh, that wasn't tight at all. Yeah. These are like, kind of like that Diacomp, not Diacomp, Comp 3, kind of butterfly type pattern tires, which are really popular back in the day, right? Yeah. Remember those? I think that's what I got on the on the hatch. Okay, this thing has a trip. Is there a quick? Is that a quick release? Yeah. This thing. Try. How does that work? I don't know. My hands stay full right now. <laughs> oh, there we go. Woo! Is this thing? Oh, there. There we go. Yeah. Wow. Uh oh. Now, oh, straight and bent. Wow. No way. Dude. What? They gave two, um, two yeah. different um, CPOs? Yeah. What? You get option number one, straight. Mm -hmm. Or you get option number two, bent. Wow, that's pretty cool. Yeah. Oh, mean this company. Tell you guys. So you can really, you know, dial this thing in where. Go buy one already. Kind of like where you want it. Yeah. Right? Don't even like procrastinate. Just bust out your credit card and auto. What is that? Oh, how's this seat? Bright white. I don't know if this is for bike show or for ride. Look how white this thing. <laughs> I can ex I can just see that getting like hella dirty here in Hawaii with our red dirt. Yeah. Right. Dude, this you gotta like cleaning everything up. This is it's crazy. It's crazy white. Crazy white. On. Real. You know, I'm a fan of white bikes. 
The first one I bought was that white Arctic Ripper. Oh the yeah. SE bike. Yeah. And I like it. Um, you know, I'm not a huge, huge fan of gold, but on this bike, yeah, it looks really nice. It kind of look orange color. Yeah. I mean, it does kind of match with the sticker. Yeah. You know, it is a darker, darker um, shade of, of yellow, I guess. But dang, it's that's a good. good, that's a good choice. Good it choice. Pretty nice, yeah? it, it matches the sticker. All the part is the same anodized color. Yeah. Seat post clamp. Let me take this thing out. Yeah, there's some protective like cap that's in there, which I haven't seen that before. Then again, me, I haven't seen it because I never buy one complete bike. <laughs> that is true. You don't buy complete bikes. No, I don't. You build all your bikes. I build them. But that is true. I mean, if, if I had to, I would buy one of this and go riding. You cannot go wrong with this. Guys, and for the air price, in the tie and all. For the price, seven, what did I say? Six ninety five? Yeah. Six ninety five for a complete bike that has pretty much like if you're somebody like us where you kind of like rode rode a bike back in the the heyday of bmx and you're looking to kind of get back into it buy this thing this might be the bike that you might want to kind of get started on um and and white it, it ain't too bad man honestly no, it's, I kind of feel like you can do a lot with this with this colorway too, you know? Like it's definitely one that you can do a lot of things with. Yeah. So I kind of feel this would be pretty good. Yeah. Okay, I like, the stem comes kind of upside down. I like putting it so where the, the, the logo is kind of facing the way that it is on the sticker. It, for some reason when it comes, it's kind of upside down. I noticed that with the with the chrome one too, but you sure you're doing them right? <laughs> I'm not sure of anything. <laughs> I don't know because I'm only looking at that logo right there. Yeah, and then so to look, if I'm looking at the bike sitting down, mm -hmm. isn't that the top? Yeah, that is right. Yeah, but when it came, it was up, it was upside down. So that's why I was like, ah, I'm gonna put it put it the other way. I like the chrome stem. Their stems are really nice. Chrome. Like what we'll do is, you know, after we kind of put some stuff together, I'll get this close up and then you guys can kind of see like, you know, how nice this, this thing looks. But man, this thing is like, right? This thing is, Should and I'm not just on. saying them for just saying, it's, it's for real. Guys, it's for real, hoy. I know, it's kind of like, it's not fake. You want it to look like, you know, we're just saying all these good things just because they sent us the bike, but it's no, it's, it's legit. legit. It's a legit nice bike. It is. It really is. And get the owner's manual. <laughs> yeah. You know yeah. what I found? You know what I found in my in in our in my in some old stuff. The owner's manual. The owner's manual for my Kuahara. Oh yeah. Yeah, I still get them. You can put them on eBay. It I think. shows. It shows the price and everything. It's kind of crazy. I like how they put, look, they get their emblem on the paddle. Oh, that's new. Yeah. Because yeah. that's not on the other one that I had. No. This is, yeah. Wow. Is it like they designed it for their, their specific bikes, I wonder? Because this thing, it don't look like, you know, the standard universal. No, I think, I think they kind of like designed their own. They probably own. have been making some upgrades. I mean, come on, the thing is shiny, hoy. That's pretty nice. I, ew, okay. <laughs> I don't like reflectors. 
that's usually like the first thing I'm gonna yank off. Yeah, so cool. like all these reflectors on the on the because you know on the wheels they're coming right off. Because back in the day, right, like that was the first thing I pulled from all my bikes. Well, you weren't a cool kid if you had reflectors on your bike. Well, I tell you what. <laughs> You're going to have to right? buy some bullseye pedals because there's no way you're taking these things off, my friend. Yeah, that kind of looks that way. Because it's embedded in the housing. So that's interesting. That's different. And it's, it's not a bad thing. You know, safety it's first, Brody. The only looking out for <laughs> safety, safety. first. Is that what it is? Safety first. Safety first. Well, you like it bang. <laughs> <laughs> oh man i don't want to get banged but i definitely i don't like reflectors and look that's look, just they put sticker over here right <laughs> they put indention on the pedal right right you better not miss, mess that up no. yep. yeah you need grease exactly is where i was going yeah try lube me up boy. lube 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 the bogger lube the bogger yeah lube yeah perfect <laughs> nothing Ooh. like nothing like lubing pedals after work man what a great feeling <laughs> i know it's a it's a friday for us for you not me oh well, yeah true <laughs> friday for me not for you not for me okay. you have kind of a different schedule oops almost dropped the brand new pedal yeah i yeah Never mind about that. It was a great day at work today. That's good. And you didn't have to have that problem with the with the with your refrigerator, so that was good. Yeah. Even more so. Man, we almost power already. See? This is not like on part three build this. This yeah. <laughs> this is like there will be no four part Monza build videos oh heck no you know like the Skyway we slap in this thing together and that's it at least you know what a master links is eh? is that something that, that is pretty easy to find so easy if you cannot spot oh, well, that oh yeah I guess so with the white even if I took my contacts out I could find that with the white for sure yeah for sure Wait, what am I doing? Am I don't I... know. You're taking them out again. I think I'm taking them out, stupid. Okay. Aren't you working on the brakes? I'm working on the brakes. Because I never bring my pedal wrench. Yeah, you have a new pedal wrench from our buddy Jimmy. Yeah, Jimmy. Jimmy in Texas. Hooked us up with some tools. Oh, we... did you bring the torque wrench? Oh, no, I never. Well, because I was, I was thinking, you know, it's Monza Day. <laughs> That's why. Monza Day. It's Monza Day, Kevin. We cannot, like, we cannot mix them. Well, I figure, like, you know, we would test out that torque wrench. But we can save that for the... Yeah. Um, we got to save them because... For that other build. Because today is Monza Day. Today is Monza Day. That's right. On the day, brah. Tell you guys, you guys better hurry up and go buy one. <laughs> I know what I'd forget. I'd forget my readers. Uh oh. Oh, now we got them. We good. Yeah, we gotta pop up this. We good in the hood. But yes. Oh, how's these brakes? I like the quick release team. Okay. Well, I think we're gonna go with, what do you think? Straight, straight pipe, bent? I, I like bent. I don't know, I'm always, I like bent. But you know, you know, like I put the bent on the, on the chrome one and uh. it was a little, it was kind of like, Mm. I ended up going back to straight. Oh. But that's really cool that they give you both a bent seat post and a straight. 
I'm gonna go with the straight, just cause based on the other Monza, I used the straight post and that seemed to work really well. Yeah, you the guy at riding this thing. Bro, this is some serious Christmas action right here. <laughs> it's like Christmas day, yeah? Oof. You yeah. know like that, that when you, you anticipate that new bike on Christmas morning, if you were lucky enough to get one. Yeah. I kind of don't want to touch this seat because it's so clean, dude. Right? I kind of feel like my hands are going to be all dirty on this thing. I don't know. This is like all new to me. Is there anything in the manual? <laughs> well, I don't can read because I never bring my glasses. <laughs> Let me see. The thing going say, hey, dum dum. <laughs> Read the manual. Well, you know what's funny? This thing has derailleur instructions. Why? I don't know. I think this is just a generic, like, yeah. This is just a bicycle owner's, like, it's not specific to this bike. Oh, it's not? No. Oh. It's just a generic, like, yeah, that's, this is no good. I gotta go grab a um, crescent from inside. Okay. Not an auto side. That is good. Yeah, these definitely gotta be adjusted because each other look like. Oh, yes, they're loose. It's too. super loose. Okay. Don't you have another tool? I don't have my other wrenches, dude. <laughs> they're, they're in the backyard. You know what? Not in any fancy toolbox. No more. I get all my stuff outside. Then what the heck do you have in that toolbox then? Snacks. Oh, look, and this thing is like, look, it's, this gotta be more like, there you go. This is the legit small kid time building bike with the crescent wrench. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's the only wrench we have. Yes, why? We yeah. only one. That and one plier. Okay, <laughs> adjust this now. Okay, so. So what are we gonna do with this one? We're gonna loosen this thing. Yeah. You gonna hold this on. This one with... has like a. Mm -hmm. I think this goes in there. Yeah. Yeah. You know? And then you take this fancy wrench again. <laughs> this guy. <laughs> hey, what? What would you do without the without the crescent, man? I know. Okay. Nope. So we're having some fun. <laughs> Trying to figure this thing out. Right. We don't normally put front brakes on a bike. So we really haven't worked with front brakes in a while. You know what? I Brakes period, hoy. Brakes period. Brakes. But it's got some nice diacomp brakes. White cool stop pads. And I don't know, they just did a really nice job. Like they got the white grips, the white handlebars, the white accent on the on the brake pad. I mean the brake pad, the brake lever. Um, this thing is just really nice. It is nice. Right, you got the white chain. It'd be even nicer if I could figure out the, <laughs> the cabling system. They have definitely upgraded the pedals. They did not have the Monza logo here before. They used to be actually on the front. The Monza logo was on the front here, but they switched it to this. And then this now is integrated, which I'm not a super fan of, but hey, safety, I guess, right? That's right, bro. <laughs> they got a two-tone, uh, you got this uh, crank with the uh, gold chain ring. This is a 44. So this is the old school, man. And I think what, the back was 17? Yeah. I think it's 17, 44, 17. Check on the box. 
18. Yeah. Is it 18? Yeah. Oh, yeah, 18. It is a 44, 18. So. 44, 18. According to. And then it has this beautiful stem. I mean, that stem is just the chrome on that is so nice. I mean, that was, that's one of the favorite parts for me on, on the Monza's. Just so nice. They got the Tonge or Tongi or however you want to say that. Uh, seat post clamp. White accents with the silver out. That's also nice. The white seat. Ho, ho, ho. This thing is looking really, really nice. I don't know. That's how's them? That's the best I can do so far. How's them? How's them? Yeah, this yeah. side's not going quite as much, but hey, all right. Cherry. Okay. That's the best I can do. Just got to do the back. Look like this stay aligned. Oh, good thing this pants get <laughs> this kind of. Good to have cargo pants, huh? Yeah. <laughs> good thing, bro. All right. We're just making some tiny adjustments with this right here that adjusts the tension. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because that, that is pretty good. Yeah, that looks pretty, that feels good. Yeah. Actually, I think we're there, Kev. That looks good. Yeah. Feels good. I think we just got to adjust these are like a little and then, too low because they're yeah. just, this is almost like, you know, when you had that, remember that um, two finger lever you used to have back in the day? Mm. <laughs> That was always super low like that. I definitely don't want my brakes that low. You got to kind of put them out a little bit. Yeah, because still are hot. Yeah. I think because of shipping. Probably. Yeah? Yeah. On a side? Oh, nice. This thing get max torque. 990, something like that. So if you had a torque wrench. <laughs> yeah, had. I don't know, when when we're down on the ground, I can see if it's yeah. the even. Yeah, we'll probably have to like still make some adjustments, even on the handlebars too. Yeah. Probably. But we got, since we're here, this is a good time to look. Loose. That was loose. Yeah, yeah. But I think we should actually take it down to see, to align yeah. everything up. All right, so let's put the bike down next. Yeah, move this to the side. Yeah, stay crooked. Hmm. Okay. I go oh yeah right there right there but I think right that about good is there I think we gotta we gotta put the um put this up a little forward too okay got a powder coating is nice huh nice pretty solid on this so what rocket you approve is this rocket approved check go can no can it's pretty good no Oh, to go up? Yeah. Got to go a little bit more, I think. So the only other one we have is the one, the Monza in Chrome. And the Chrome on that is pretty nice. Um, so this is the first painted bike that, well, I should take that, I take that back. Our friend uh, Flo has a black Yeah, he get the Monza, black Monza. And he was the one that first told us about Monza. We had, I had no idea who Monza was. Well, I, I kind of saw a Monza on Craigslist and it was on Oahu. I was, so it was on, it was on Craigslist. So somebody was reselling it already. Yeah. Somebody was reselling them. And I was thinking, man, and that, I think that one had the motor mags on top. I was like, wow. 
And here comes Flo, and he's got one, brand new. Because that one was, he had to put in order, and it, it was like, you yeah. know, with COVID and everything, there was like a huge wait on the bikes to get here. And he got it in black, and it had, I think I want to say it had black rims, and he changed it to, to like gold. Yeah, he had gold. And I did a video on that, and then, yeah, right there. And that one did pretty well. And that's kind of like how the Monza guys uh, reached out. They saw the video, they liked it, and... The rest is history. Yeah, so we've been really fortunate to be able to yeah. develop a relationship with them. So Thomas, okay, try that. thank you. Yeah, right there. Yeah, you got some good stuff, man. This bike is, is solid. I mean, for that price, for this price point. It's, it's a beautiful bike. It's, it's a nice bike. Like, I'm not, I'm not saying it because, you know, they, they went and sent it to us, but. I know, it's easy to kind of like think like, yeah, like, you know, we're just saying this stuff because, you know, they nah, sent us a bike. But um, if you can check one out, definitely go and, and you know, hit up the Facebook um, message boards. They're, they have a, a group of owners and you can, you know, probably find somebody who has one near you. And I mean, yeah, I can thing. see the metallic. Can you? It's almost like our Subaru. I can see the flakes inside. Right. Yeah. I mean, gotta wipe them down with schmear. But, okay, a short guy like me, let's see. I don't like grab the grips because. Your hands are dirty. My, I don't know if my hands stay. <laughs> Wow. I kind of feel like those grips are going to get dirty no matter what. Hey, you and me get white grips, or? <laughs> oh, this bike is nice. white. Nice, oh, yeah. And yeah. there is a protective, um, at least it was on the, yeah. Get okay. this one. I think, yeah. Like yes. a protective sticker on this front part. So that, the badge will get um, hemorrhaging. Yeah, I didn't even realize it at first until I kind of was taking some pictures with it. And I was like, hey, I think something's yeah on there but now it's like how do i get that thing off it's like it's a really you know what you can do is take a piece of tape and just oh here we go i think tape them on and... oh yeah you got them just keep working them gotta fix this they all cockeyed yeah the, the um the, the cap is crooked yeah yeah all oh, right yeah it's like um bluish metal Oh, yeah? Yeah. It's like a pearl white. Nice. Good so You got to be able to like see that in the light to really appreciate it, yeah. This is like the same color as my Subaru. <laughs> Here we go. You got to peel that sucker off. Oh, yeah. See him. Nice. Wow. Oh, I almost said come like matching. The shorts match the gold. <laughs> Let's pump these guys up. Yeah. It does need a little bit of air. It does come with some air. Yeah. But you're going to need to put in some air on this. Puppy. At least this bike will come with moped tires. <laughs> what is the max PSI? Maximum 40. inflation. 40. We'll go 32. Yeah, if you guys have a Ryobi battery, like this is the pump to get. <laughs> That's a nice one. This thing is so much better than like trying to hand pump. Why, you like exercise? I don't want to exercise with this. And the award for the longest valve stem goes to whoever <laughs> makes their tires. <laughs> mm -hmm. These these stems are the longest that I have ever seen. So guarantee your axle nuts is tight. No, we gotta we gotta tighten those up. Okay. Yeah. 
because I just kind of like just hand, you know, not really like super tight. Dude, even this seat post clamp is metallic. My goodness, that's a white seat. Let's check the back. Yeah. Oh yeah, that back is. Oh yeah. Chair. Back is good. Okay, that is good. Uh, just gotta align this. Is that with all? Uh, oops, six. Oh. Okay. The only thing left for do is take them out on oh, made in is the How's the seat post clamp? Is that? Oh, I don't good? know. That is your department. I'm right? sure. I didn't put them. Oh yeah, that's good. And what about the guts? You tighten that? I did not tighten that. We's ready for some oh, Kalapa yeah, dirt on enough. this bike. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I don't know that I wanna. That would be interesting to take this to Kalepa. Oh yeah. Okay, last but not least, we're forgetting something. The oh, chain you know guard. What? This is not the right size. This what is, is that? A little bit. This is. No. I think I need like a 12 or 13. Well, you know what you got to do? Bust out the crescent. Oh boy. Now Bust we stay out the crescent. Now we stay back to 1980s. But the bugger works. Is it tight? It works. Okay. Okay. What yeah. else did we miss? No, I think the only thing got to do is ride them. Oh wait, it's a crooked your seat. Seat's crooked? Yeah, just stand right here and look at them. Oh, a little bit to the left, yeah. Yeah. I like it. They're pretty good, huh? Yeah. For like a bike that is coming stock from the factory. Yeah. That's pretty good. I don't know if that this is thing pretty is- pretty good. I don't know, later you might want to adjust that part, mm. but. I think the chain's a little tight, but I think if we ride it a little bit, that'll yeah. get loosened up. You should ride them. This feels loose though. Look how much this is getting pulled. I know, yeah, I was looking at that too. Like, get plenty of space. I wonder if we can tighten that cable then. But, you wanna ride it? Try them out. We try them out? Oh, sorry. Much better. Yeah? The height adjustment. The height, raising oh, up yeah. the seat does help, yeah? Right on spot. I don't really think you need the bent seat post, you right? I don't think so. Yeah, now these are really nice bikes. I mean, all of this. I mean, for six ninety five. You can't go you wrong. You get all of that for six ninety five. That's. I mean, if you are trying to get into it, you know, if you're kind of getting back into this BMX thing, like this is a great bike to start with. It has some really good stuff on it. You don't have to really change much. No. <clears throat> Maybe put some WD-40. Squeaky. Yeah. <laughs> but other than that. Could throw some true. Yeah. True tri-flow. Tri tri-flow in there. So we got to figure out what that piece was for. Yeah. And if we needed that or not. 
Did you put the other one back in? No? No, I know. Yeah. Go ahead. That right there is a nice contrast. Yeah. Like white on this color, gold color. Mm -hmm. And it is a big chain ring. I mean, a 44, like we're used to riding like a 33. Oh, <laughs> yeah. So this one starting off, it's a little tough to get started. But once you're cruising, man, that thing is, you can go pretty fast with that. Yeah. And maybe you might want to take out the stickers, the reminder stickers. Yeah, definitely when those are going to come off as well as those reflectors. Nah, cherry hard. <laughs> At least you know nobody gonna hit you. Well, if that was the only thing that caused people not to hit you, then yeah, I would put them on all the time. Safety, bro. <laughs> like Monza comes out with bikes like every year and they make a few changes. They also have a gold model, which I thought was really cool. Like the whole frame and fork is gold. gold and wow. it looked really, really nice. And I know we say this, we say, we're, we say this a lot in the video and, it, and, it, and it's like, trust us when we say we're not just saying it because Monza sent us the bike. This bike is solid. Yeah. And if you are looking for a bike to Ghana get started with, like you cannot go wrong with this bike. Bro, even the guts is chrome. Oh yeah. I Inside. couldn't even buy guts that is chrome that is. Yeah, mostly they're all black, yeah. Yeah. But I mean really nice. Nice parts. Looks good. Feels good. And for that price, man, if you are trying to get started, uh, I don't think there's any better bike. Yeah. This would be one. Yeah. Yeah. The handlebar is a good choice. Everything, it feels comfortable. Yep. Just all around good. All right, well that is the Monza 26 inch in white. You can get it at Monza. I don't know what their website is. It used to be Monza BC, but it might be something different. I will put a link in the description below if you are looking to pick one up for yourself. Um, I don't know what else we can say. We said, <laughs> We've just been gushing about this bike all day. Yeah. Right? I mean, it's just everything looks really well made, uh, solid parts. And, and yes, you could probably still like look for certain things that you can kind of, you know, if you wanted to upgrade. But I think straight out of the box, straight. this bike works. It just works. Yeah. And um, super stoked at what it looks like, how it rides. We got the seat a little higher. It does make a difference though, yeah? yeah. Even though we got a kind of tippy toe and we're like yeah. standing above it, riding it, it just feels better with yeah. the seat higher. And I think we're fine with the straight seat post. Uh, I know you were thinking, oh, maybe go with the laid back, but it feels good, yeah, with the straight. Feel good. Yeah. You know, I'm all about the looks is why. Yeah. <laughs> the looks, bro. <laughs> Gotta get... Bernie's all about the looks. <laughs> oh, it's all about the, why? Just like the other kind over there. Your reflectors. <laughs> I said safety. You said, said safety. Looks. I said looks. You are right. You are absolutely so right. So seat post <laughs> looks performance. Yeah. Oh. You know, maybe if you're super tall. Yeah. Yeah. You, you yeah. A yeah. little bit more. Back. Maybe if you're like six feet, you want to be a little further back on the bike, then you can put the laid post, laid back seat post, and it's really awesome that Monza gives you both. Yeah. Right. I, I don't like, think of any bike company. When you buy a bike, go yeah. send you those options. And we never put the pads on. Oh yeah, we got the pad. Yes, the pads. Let's go do that because we forgot about that. It used to be the pads you had to pay extra for them, but now all of the bikes come with a set of pads. See, which is really cool. You can put that one on. Because I'm telling you, safety first, dude. <laughs> you know, safety first. You're gonna like. And they and these pads are pretty nice, man. I they mean, are. they match. It's almost like the the back in the day, um, just like the flight pads. Mm. You know, of course, you you had to have pads, or else you're not gonna get past safety inspection. That's right. Did we have to have pads to race? Of course. Did we? Yeah. I don't even remember. Your like... brakes had to work. Um, 
you cannot have any loose parts. You oh, gotta have oh, the that's pads. Right. I don't, I didn't remember that, but you I had think, to yeah, have. you're right that we have to have. I forgot that we have to have pads on the bike. You gotta have pads, which is interesting. Your number plate gotta be legit, ABA approved. You couldn't do your own. Did it, remember when we used to make our own with the chicken wire? Yeah. <laughs> I remember that. We would cut out the, um, the, the number plate and put our own chicken wire so that you could have ventilation. Or <laughs> if you go and you show up, you forget your number plate, cardboard or Card paper plate. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Just like, crap, zip tie, I forgot something. Zip tie or, or um, duct tape that sucks to, yeah. to your thing, right? Yeah. Yeah. But I remember, you know, inspection was always, they shake the wheels. They, right. Know, you're right. See if your hand, your, your headset sit tight, you know, auto bearing straight, this, check your chain. I totally forgot about that. Yeah. That was a long time That's ago, right. but I kind of remember right. all that. They would that. check every bike. Yeah. yeah. Funny. You never put this on? You know, it comes with the stem on and, and... I could cover it up, but it, that stem is so nice. I don't know. Safety first, bro. <laughs> what if you hit one rock and then you somehow... Okay, okay. Safety first. We will put this guy on. That's right. To mat, you know, so that... If you want to go full safety... We can make Bernie happy with, the, with this. If you want to go full safety, but, you got to put the chain guard on too. Okay, no, we're not doing the chain guard. That is where I'm, I'm drawing the line. We are not doing no chain guard. Yeah. But um, I like I like how it comes with front brakes. Uh, I know uh, some countries I think they are required to oh to have that. To have and in fact, brakes. in the Chrome bike, it had front brakes, mm. but they were really not the same quality as the back brakes. I don't yeah. know if you remember how no, I do, really I do. bad they were. Yeah, I mean. Sorry, Monza, but the, the front brakes on the first generation, or not the yeah, first that's generation, why we never... but the last set of bike, the last bike that we got, like, they were really cheaply made. Yeah. But now everything matches. So you got a front brake that matches the back. Yeah. And it actually looks good to have both of them on. So. Good job. Yeah. So nice upgrades. The Monza seat with the BMX on it. This is, know. this is classy, this bike. Yeah classy so nice job monzo yeah, yeah. good job <laughs> but i guess that'll end our love fest today <laughs> okay we paw already with monzo. but uh you know i don't know what else to say except thank you monzo yeah and thank you very uh much. yeah you'll be seeing a lot of videos with this uh in the background um and actually if you go up to monza monza's website You'll see moi on the on the front page. Ooh, I like the autograph. <laughs> uh, yeah, their new website is is really nice. I mean, they upgraded everything. It looks super nice, and yeah, you'll find me on the on the front of that on the on the front page of that website. Yeah. Anyway, hey, if you stuck around this long, thank you, and and to all the guys that that continually watch our videos super supportive of you guys watching the videos yeah. throwing comments in there and just making us feel loved like you know you guys just enjoy the videos and and can't wait for the next one <laughs> and yeah. it just trips us out that people are interested in just hearing two old guys talk about bikes and work on bikes yeah <laughs> me and my broken english <laughs> right but hey we appreciate it and yeah. we're going to keep doing that as long as you guys keep watching so thank you all right, that'll do it yeah. for this one. So until the next time, hey, take care of one another, be safe, and aloha. Aloha. aloha.